From dangerous pets that look to prey on their owners to houses strange intruders, here are 10 craziest things hungry animals have done. The Fasting Python You can understand someone sleeping with a dog or a cat, or even a pig or a goat. They are fluffy and trustworthy and they won't eat you. Well, pigs I'm not so sure. Anywho, there was a woman who loved her python so much she was sleeping with it every night. I'm not even joking. This was a real woman and a real python and was even reported in a news article by the Animal Channel in 2017. It is not even a story of a particularly hungry python, but more of a greedy python with an enormous appetite, and one woman who was doing something she definitely should not have been doing. After several weeks of sleeping together, the python decided to stop eating. After a while, the woman grew concerned and took her pet snake to the vet. She told the vet that she loved bonding with her snake by sleeping with it and that when she slept on her stomach, the python would spread alongside her from head to toe. She thought this was an amazing and special thing that they did, so why would it stop eating? Everything was going great. Except snakes don't really have that part of the brain that loves you and comes when you call them. The vet informed her that what she thought was an awesome, loving relationship was actually built on a lie. Ain't it always that way? The giant 7 foot 2 meter python was starving itself in preparation of its next big meal, her. By laying next to her lengthwise, he was seeing if she would fit inside. That's right, this python was plotting its owner's demise the entire time. It wasn't hungry, it was betrayal. Dinosaur Cannibalism About 150 million years ago, dinosaurs were cannibals. A team of paleontologists studied over 2,300 bones from the Mygat Moor Quarry area in Colorado and found that many of them have bite marks belonging to the exact same dinosaur. Some Allosaurus bones were found to have Allosaurus teeth marks. This would suggest that some of these carnivores, including the Majungatholus, the Spinosaurus, and the T-Rex, grew so hungry at times that they would either eat one another, which is essentially like tigers or lions deciding to start hunting their own kind, or they were feeding on leftover carcasses. It's kinda strange. Have you seen a lion eating another lion? I haven't, and I've seen a lot of nature documentaries. Researcher Stephanie Drumheller from the University of Tennessee revealed that these were not dinosaurs with particularly fussy dietary needs. She claimed that cannibalism between dinosaurs, even big carnivores like our beloved T. rex, was entirely possible, non-rare, and even probable. The only other explanation for the tooth marks in the Allosaurus bones would be from some heavy dino-on-dino -dino fighting, but the bones show some scars that seem to match the bites of their own kind didn't help their survival rate, that's for sure. Giant Boar Goes Dumpster Diving Most people would be absolutely terrified to see a giant boar wandering around in their neighborhood. And yet in Hong Kong, a startlingly large boar has been caught standing on its hind legs while pursuing the contents of a giant dumpster. This isn't even happening out in the country, but in a populated area where parents saw it happening while they brought their children to school. This is not the first time a community has been pillaged by wild boar. It isn't even the first time on Earth for it to have happened. According to Fox News, Australia declared feral pigs to be pest animals in 2013, allowing farm owners to legally kill them. In some places in Europe, they are a problem too. And yet, what is a boar to do when extremely hungry with two piglets to feed? Of course, dig through the dumpster. Can you really blame this giant pig just for wanting to feed its family? The boars are omnivores and will eat many kinds of plants and animals, but they eat roots, seeds, green plants, and nuts most of the time. Anyway, sometimes they eat whatever they find in the forest floor, including birds, eggs, worms, and other insects. These are wild animals, so to face them in a populated zone is definitely something strange. Run-ins with wild boar can get really dangerous, so you better get some steps back before walking near them. Back in July of 2013, a young boy of only 10 was gored by a rogue pig while riding his bicycle in Australia and was stabbed in the neck with the pig's tusk. So yeah, you should definitely be worried if there are marauding boars near a school digging through dumpsters. This is just one example of hungry animals gone wild. Have animals ever stolen food from your house or your trash? Let me know in the comments below, and if you are new, be sure to subscribe and join us. Hungry Hungry Beavers 
These are some of nature's coolest animals, and they have some pretty strange habits when they get too hungry. Beavers usually live in wet and moist climates with lots of rivers and wilderness, and because of these zones and their characteristics, people have had many speculations about what these rodents eat. See, beavers eating wood is not just a myth or something they do in cartoons. They really do eat tree bark. In fact, beavers absolutely love tree bark. It is their favorite meal, and even though they prefer to eat in the late afternoon, they really enjoy having it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This has a lot to do with the giant beavers from the Ice Age who had diets closer to that of a hippopotamus. Ancient beavers ate mostly pond weeds and other aquatic plants, but when the Ice Age was over and beavers found themselves in a forest playground, they began snacking on bark. Beavers usually vary their diet, collecting greens, roots, fruits, tubers, and beans, or sometimes they re-ingest their pellets. But definitely, they love tree bark so much, they crave wood so fiercely, that when there is none readily available, they will resort to munching on their own houses. Beavers will literally eat the wallpaper from their homes. That is how hungry these little brown monsters can get. Although they love to go and search for fresh wood, beavers will straight up eat their houses just for a taste of that sweet, sweet bark. Sperm Whale Thieves Sperm whales are huge. These are some of the biggest animals on the planet, and they are also some of the most cunning thieves out there. While you would normally associate raccoons or possums with opportunistic food thieves, sperm whales actually take the cake. In fact, sperm whales can steal up to 90% of a fisherman's daily catch. A 2015 program by the BBC shows shocking video of the ocean's largest predators stealing fish from lines in Alaska. The whales are so clever that they use their long jaws to actually snap fish off the fishermen's hooks. This is a seriously desperate attempt to stay well fed. Experts refer to this behavior as depredation and claim the whales have learned it as a clever way to fill their bellies with lots of yummy fish. It just so happens to be at the misfortune of some disappointed fishermen. This goes to show just how smart animals really are. These fishermen hunt for black cod and other types of deep water fish using equipment that can be 5 miles 8 kilometers long, and the whales have learned just the right time to swoop in and steal the catch as the fisherman raises the line. It looks like out in Alaska, whales are getting the upper hand. What's that say about survival of the smartest? Bear Intruders as humans build settlements deeper and deeper into previously uninhabited territory, we continue to infringe upon Mother Nature and all her hungry animals. One of the biggest issues in North America today is that we are essentially kicking bears out of their homes, forcing them to wander closer to their own kind, territorial jerks that they are, and forcing them to make desperate moves for the sake of feeding themselves. There are no shortages of bear stories, especially up north. Bears have mastered doorknobs, garbage can lids, car doors, and just about any fortified entrance. They appear to be capable of breaking into any house at any time, opening your refrigerator, and helping themselves to yesterday's leftovers. A recent story out of Thornhurst in Lackawanna County describes a bear sauntering onto a family's front porch, snatching up a new delivery of dog food, and making off into the nearby woods. This amazing act of thievery was captured thanks to the family's home surveillance and gained quite a bit of attention online. Local news reported that the family later managed to get a free replacement box of dog food. As for the bear, it certainly got its fill of snack food for the winter. Addict Rats Rats are gross for many people, and it should be no surprise that rats are always hungry and that they do some pretty weird things to feed themselves. And while rats going through our garbage and eating junk food may seem like a desperate behavior of a desperate animal, the truth is that rats are actually addicted to junk food. It's true, rats are basically hard addicts for snack food. In one study, rats were given cakes, bacon, desserts, and other unhealthy dishes. They then developed an addiction. The rats became so addicted to the unhealthy food that they became lazy, obsessed with eating the food, and even continued to eat the junk food even though they received a mild electrical shock each time. According to Dr. Paul Kenny and the researchers on the team, the rats were so hooked on bad food that they refused to eat anything else for a full two weeks when their treasured junk food was taken away. They chose to starve and wait for their cakes rather than eat normal healthy food. Sneaky Raccoons Everyone knows how sneaky and desperate raccoons can be. These are the cat burglars of the animal kingdom. They have a tendency to wreak general havoc on city dwellers in a large number of ways. When raccoons get hungry, they go stealing. 
Raccoons will topple your garbage cans to dig for leftovers, they will snatch the fruit from your garden, and they will steal the cat food straight out of your pet's dish. Raccoons definitely are crazy-minded animals, and when they are thinking about food, nothing can stop them. For example, Toronto is one of the cities with more raccoon stories than any other. One appeared snatching food from a supermarket, taking the products from the ceiling. Another one magically appeared in the house of a woman, and it was eating her bread. Maybe this little one wanted to share a delicious breakfast with her. And another one got its head stuck inside a jam jar. What a crazy species. When it comes to raccoons and their feeding time, absolutely nothing is off limits. Whether this extreme behavior like sneaking into people's houses and rummaging through their pantries is opportunistic or desperate, it might be a little of both. But one thing is for sure, raccoons have adapted extremely well to city life. Marauding Monkeys Monkeys are some of the most mischievous animals on our planet. There is a reason they call it monkeying around. In India, monkeys have learned to adapt to their natural habitat being taken away, integrating themselves into city life and becoming furry city dwellers themselves. And when India's monkeys get hungry, they get crazy. According to rough estimates, there are about 40,000 monkeys living in the city of Delhi alone, although the city of Jaipur is more famous for their roving gangs of monkeys. They began life in the forests of northern India, but now live side by side with humans and are such an annoying menace that no one is safe. When they get hungry, the roaming troops of red-faced macaques begin to terrorize markets and homes. They swing along the power lines, inevitably breaking them in the process, break into people's homes, and raid their food stashes. They descend upon markets with the merciless hunger of a band of starved hyenas, stealing fruits and vegetables, sodas, drinks, and snacks, all of it indiscriminately. Government recommendations are to try to scare the monkeys, always make direct eye contact with them, and hit the ground with a stick or your feet. But the best option is to take another route and avoid facing these animals at all. Watching these monkeys in action is some of the craziest behavior you will ever see from any animal. They're like criminals gone bad, inspiring chaos everywhere they roam in their never-ending search for food. The Savo Man-Eaters This is some of the most savage animal behavior ever recorded. There are stories about man-eating tigers, specifically those in the Sundarbans of India with the penchant for human meat. But what about the stories of man-eating lions? Well, in 1898, during a devastating drought in Kenya, two lions starved for food went on a manhunt that would earn them a place in history. According to Smithsonian Magazine, the lions terrorized a construction crew as they were building a railroad bridge over the Savo River. Estimates at the time had been reported of 135 people being attacked by the pair of lions. However, a zoologist with the Field Museum in Chicago estimates that the number of eaten people was closer to 35, with one lion having eaten 10 people and the other about 24. But that is still a lot of human meat between two lions. They rampaged mercilessly until Lieutenant Colonel John Henry Patterson shot them down in the same year, selling their bodies for $5,000 to the museum in Chicago, where you can still find these hungry animals stuffed and well-preserved today. There was even a movie made about them in 1996 called The Ghost and the Darkness, one of the scariest movies about animals. Thanks for watching. Which hungry animal would you definitely not want to encounter in the wild? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and click the notifications bell. See you soon!